How you doing, Tommy from Tommy Tanks? How are you doing today? Okay, do another blog. Blog. Um, hmm? Blog. 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 Okay, how am I feeling? Um. July was the seventh. I did my first video on my cancer. So it's been over a year since I did July the first. July seventh, twenty twenty one. Yeah, yeah, when I did my first video on it, right? Because um, it took about two months, right, before they we found out everything. Anyways, um, my mouth is giving me a lot of problems because of the chemo. My hands and feet are giving me a lot of problems with the chemo. And uh, my stomach now is giving me a hard time. Um, I'm in pain every single day. Not, it's not pain that, you know, I, you know, I can deal with. I'm not taking painkillers, which is not, you know, I mean, it would make it a lot easier if I started taking painkillers, but the problem is, is I'm trying to fight this thing. And painkillers take the pain away. It's not gonna help me with my immune system fighting this, right? So I figured the longer I can go without taking painkillers, right, the better it is for me. Even though my life would probably be a lot easier, that's not the job. The job is to kill this cancer, get that shit out of me, and if I'm stoned, then how you doing? That ain't gonna work, right? I gotta know where the pain is. I take a lot of really hot baths to take away the pain for a while. That helps. I take a quarter of a Percocet or a half a Percocet um, just to ease the pain a bit. I don't. So you do and, take painkiller. I take one per one Percocet a day. That means I take one in the morning. Half of one at night. Half of one in the morning, half of one at night. Right? Now, normally, <laughs> it'd be great. Right? But last Saturday, I blew my knee. I tripped over the dog. I think I mentioned that. And blew my, I have a fake knee. I got popped out a bit, right? And so I'm dealing with that too. So I got my stomach, my knee, my feet, my toe. It's been hell. That's what it has been. But you know, we're gonna keep fighting, as I said, right to the end of fighting this thing. All right, so I'm not giving up on anything, but I gotta let you know that this stomach cancer, I'm gonna say it again. If you got stomach problems, go see your doctor. So, say it's, so you've been throwing up too? No, you know, that was not because of that. That was called Tommy's stupidity, okay? I drank a protein drink, like one of those, um, is that what it's called? A protein drink? Yeah, it's like the meal replacements. Yeah, meal replacement drink. I drank one of them in the morning, or actually in the afternoon, and then I drank another one. Right? And I shouldn't have. Why? Because it swelled up my stomach when I went and took a bath. So I was just in pain, right? And then I realized that, you know, I had to throw up. I threw up and down I went. And my son did get, like I was dizzy and, you know, I was dehydrated. It was not a fun thing. Well, I got back to normal again, which is normal. My blood pressure is perfect, it's 90, 81, right? So I got, so my blood pressure is fine, my heartbeat's fine. Everything in me, everything that's working inside me is fine. I'm just being uh, tortured a bit, right? So I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can last two weeks of this pain, right? Like I don't wanna go to the painkillers, right? But I hope I can do two weeks so I'll be trying that new, uh, a new drug they're gonna give me, right? That might help me out a bit. Or it could make it worse, but we're gonna find out. So that's what we're doing. Um, positive attitude, be smiling, because I'm, I'm not upset about this. I know exactly what's gonna happen. I knew this was gonna happen eventually where, you know, it's gonna start, you know, the effects. Chemo did a lot of damage, right? But. It also probably kept me alive for next year, <laughs> six months or seven months, right? So if you look at it that way, okay, I gotta suffer a little bit with my feet, my hands, my mouth, right? And a little bit of the stomach, you know, hey, I'm still here, remember? Six weeks, six six weeks to six months tops. So we're, we passed that by a long time. So we're doing pretty damn good. So anyways, again, if you got stomach problems, see your doctor. If you all oh, could be this, never mind. Get a scope in you. CT scan, ultrasound, anything, making sure that you don't have it. Any type of cancer, you don't want anything to do with it near your stomach because that's gonna be painful. And I can tell you right now, 
if I wasn't a stubborn old mule and an arrogant bastard, pardon my language for swearing on YouTube, I'll tell you right now. I'd be popping volume and I'd be popping down those Percocets like it was coming out of the world. I'd be flying high as a kite and saying, screw it. But no, because I'm a stubborn bugger. I'm going to fight this to the end without drugs. A little bit just to help a little tiny bit. But I am not going to eat these goddamn things like candy. Because I know what. I'll tell you something. Between me and you, and you are my friends, half my family died because of prescription drugs. And a lot of famous people died of prescription drugs. And you know what? I ain't famous and I'm a nobody. But I'll tell you right now. I don't want to be one of those ones that died of prescription drugs. I want to die naturally and happy. If I got to die with pain... I'm gonna die with pain smiling. So this is Tommy from Tommy Tanks saying, have a great day and trust me, we're gonna beat this. And if we're, I'm, well. and <laughs> I'm trying to be honest with you, okay? That's what I'm trying to do. I'm being honest with you about my pain, but you know what? It's not affecting me, t well, <laughs> it's affecting me a lot, but it's not affecting me to the point that I give up. I will never give up for my family, I will never give up for Julia, my daughter. And she's my daughter. She's not my girlfriend. She's not my wife. She's my daughter. And, uh, and I won't give up for uh, you guys. Okay? So please have a great day. It's Sunday. And love yourself. That's the best way to do it. Go get some ice cream. Mmm, ice cream. <laughs> Can I have ice cream? No, I don't want any ice cream. I stopped the sugar for a while. I'm trying to get, I'm cutting down on it. It hurts my tongue when I eat any of my sugar, right? Because I got those blisters on my mouth. Anyways, uh, we're going to call it, what, how long has this been going for? Seven minutes. Seven minutes. If you guys want me to make a longer blog, if you listen to it, I'll do it longer. I try keeping it short because I don't think you listen to me that much. <laughs> Maybe I'm boring. I know, but you know. Anyways, again, I got to say one more time. Let's both say it together. Have a great day. Bye. I don't know what you're going to say. So. Well, okay. Let's, we're going to say, have a great day. Have a great day. Love yourself and love others. And and pray to God that this pain goes away for a little bit. And she banged the door. I didn't do it. She banged it. And if she scooped the table, she did it. I didn't do it. Bye for now. Thank you and have a good day. Ciao.